private browsing in Safari for iPad. After viewing this tutorial, you will know how and why private browsing is enabled in Safari for iPad. We're going to discuss the private browsing function on an iPad. The main purpose of using private browsing is to keep your browsing out of your history. So in other words, if I'm in private browsing mode, the websites I'm visiting won't be recorded in my history. A secondary purpose is to keep websites from planting cookies on your iPad, but most of the time those cookies are harmless. So to turn on private browsing, you have to have an empty tab in your browser. So I'm going to tap the plus in the top right corner to get a new tab and you'll see in the bottom left corner of the tab is private. I'm going to tap that and I'm going to get a message asking me if I want to close all of the other tabs I have open because they were not open in private mode. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, close all. Notice at the top of my screen the area where the address bar and function buttons are is now black. This is your clue your visual clue that private browsing is enabled. If students in your classroom are using iPads, this should be a sign that they might be up to something they don't want you to know about. So you want to make clear to them that it's not okay to use private browsing. So I could visit a website and then I could visit another website Okay, so if you were watching, the last two sites I visited were Discovery Education and Brain Pop. I'm going to close out of Brain Pop. If I go up here to the bookmarks button and tap it, and I tap on History, notice that the Discovery Education and the Brain Pop website are not the top two websites in my list. It is showing, or it is not showing rather, that I even looked at those sites. So that's how private browsing works. To disable private browsing, you have to be in an empty tab again, and then just simply tap private. Notice the area around your address bar goes back to the regular color, and you no longer have private browsing enabled. This concludes our tutorial on Safari private browsing. If you are watching this video as part of iPad basic training, Please continue to the next activity as instructed in the online materials.